Hello, I will show you how to make a travel sketch in four videos. In this third step, we are going to start coloring the drawing that we already made in ink. At the end of the video, the objective is to have colored the entire drawing, although there will still be missing shadows and small details that we will see in the fourth and last video. Where to start? My habit is to always start with the largest areas, in this case the sky and the canal water. To start with the sky, I am going to moisten the entire surface with clean water. If you look at the paper under the brightness of some light, you will see that the shiny parts are wet and the matte ones are dry. Once all the sky is moistened, I will try to imitate the clouds and the bands of the photo. As you already know, white in watercolor is the paper, so I'm going to paint slightly slanting horizontal blue stripes in the sky. It is important that they are irregular, <coughs> of different whites. If they are very equal, it would look artificial. You can add more blue to darken some areas or clean the excess of blue in others with a paper. Take your time until you get the right effect at the sky. Once the sky is finished, I must in the canal area, area with clean water. and apply a light bluish green all over the bottom. While it is wet, I will be adding a similar color but darker and darker. When wet, the color will melt and the mass of greens will remain in different shades. Once the sky and the canal are dry, I continue with the intermediate surfaces, for example the domes. With a grey paint, I fill the main cupola. Seeing in the photo that the light comes from the right, I am going to make the right part of the dome clearer, to give it volume, and I will darken the left part. I continue with the other dome, repeating the process. We can lighten the color a bit with the paper too. I now continue along the facade of the building, taking care to reserve the window spaces. It can be a light tone, which we will later darken in some parts to create the shadows. We paint the entire building block in that light shade the two walls. For the other buildings we will take a look at the photo and apply different earth tones like sienna, oranges, browns. And maybe some grey facade in the middle. Don't worry if you can't keep the window opening in white in small windows. Once dry, <clears throat> white can be added with an opaque marker. Then we color the roofs with a soft boiler red evenly.
and then we fill in other details such as wooden poles and boats. With this we have the color drawing but without shadows or details. We will do that in step 4. I hope you liked it and thank you very much.